Hi guys, welcome to today's video and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ardivian Munyazi. Thank you, thank you for clicking and choosing to watch uh, my video uh, this day. So in today's video, uh, it I spent a day with me or a productive day and I started this day, a previous day and I was making um, something for breakfast. I wanted to make some burritos but I didn't have the tortilla wraps so I thought why not make the tortilla wraps myself. Um, <coughs> sorry. So here I was just making uh, the tortilla wraps and I just used some uh, all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of baking powder and then with one teaspoon one tablespoon of uh, margarine i was cramping it up um and then i will add uh, some water and that's all that i used so i hope you're going to watch the video till the end and i hope you're going to enjoy this if you have not subscribed kindly kindly consider to subscribe to my channel uh kindly share the video and kindly don't forget to give it a thumbs up welcome As you have seen guys i added water little by little uh, so it's not too soaked up and then now i was going to need it for about uh five minutes and that is what i did i needed it for exactly five minutes i'm not a patient person when it really comes to those so uh, these days i really um tried and i set an alarm trust you me and a timer for five minutes so that it can be uh, it can have the consistency that uh, it's needed So after that, uh, and I didn't mention, I used, uh, I think, was it one cup or two cups of uh, flour? And then after that, I'm going to round them uh, into those uh, balls. So um, they gave me around, were they six balls? So if you want a big tortilla wrap, you can make them into maybe four or five, or you can make is the amount of flour so you can have a big tortilla wrap and i'll tell you as we continue why it is important to have a big tortilla wrap because where uh, it showed me fire but this is how you do and then you put them in a tray and then after that you uh, apply some oil onto the bowls or uh, the clean film and then you cover it and then you let it sit for around uh, 30 minutes and then you can continue
so after the 30 uh, minutes uh, you start rolling them out the way i'm rolling them out you roll them until you can see uh the surface so for me i didn't have my one problem i didn't have a big uh, pan so if i had make them a uh, big uh as in if it so i like uh i would love uh to buy another big pan because these things you just need them to be big so you roll them until you can see uh the surface and then now you put uh your pan on high heat and then you can you can um put them in the pan Just hurt me Just think about it, think about it But to hold me Like you don't wanna break I need some space Just think about it, think about it Maybe separate is better so this is what I uh, my end product was so I'm going to just uh, cover them and let them cool down then I'm going to put them in an airtight container and then I'm just going to uh, cover them and then I'm going to use them the next morning. So this is the next morning and uh, we are going the first thing we are going to start is start uh, with our laundry and I'm going to uh, load my first load um, in the machine then we're going to get uh, into making our breakfast. So in my breakfast uh, burritos, I'm going to have some eggs, uh, some uh, potatoes in it, and then some uh, a little bit of salsa and sauce on them. Uh, so if you have some bacon, some sausage, and all uh, those nice things, uh, you can add uh, to them, and they will be so 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 nice. And uh, here I was just making the potatoes already. I had put. Um, a little bit of margarine uh, some uh, garlic and then I added a little bit of um, what is it called green pepper but if you have green red uh, you can add uh, and it will be amazing and just don't forget a little bit of salt and also some uh, black pepper
so here i was making a little bit uh, of uh, sauce so it can't be so dry and then i added just some ketchup some mayonnaise and some black pepper and a little bit of salt but if you have more things that you need to add like something chili or some um, mustard or uh, anything you love to add in your sauce uh, more power to you uh, it's what you want and the taste uh, you prefer from it and that is what I did and, oh, and a little bit of lemon juice uh, if you have more you can add uh, it, it brings a little bit of uh, tanginess into it and uh, it's uh, going to be so nice So after that I'm going to make uh, some scrambled eggs and in my scrambled eggs I don't too much I put um, the eggs then some a little bit of pepper some salt and I'm going to add a little a dash of uh, milk and then uh, on the pan I'm just going to cook it with some margarine uh, butter will be better but uh, I had margarine so that is what I'm going to use. so guys here i wanted to start uh, i started assembling uh, the burritos and uh, where because they were small and i overstuffed them they were breaking they were not rolling mostly they were breaking you see like that one it has already broken uh i think i did that for around two of them and then i noticed i was overstuffing them so and it wasn't uh, enough filling so make bigger ones or uh just stuff them kidogo or just buy in the supermarket either way so <laughs> yeah so and then you do that but i'll advise you put uh a little bit of sauce uh more sauce into your burritos uh, every bite i took and it had uh the sauce it was really nice and as i said you can add uh, sausages and bacon to give it much more flavor and to make it uh, a, a whole full meal breakfast uh yeah So that was the result it was okay but some were a little bit broken but we enjoyed the breakfast so after that after we ate uh, breakfast and we were full it was time for me to go on with the house chores and this was the second load uh, the first load so this was uh, the second load and it was time for me uh, to go hang the clothes so i can come back and continue with the other pending house shoes <laughs> So after that uh, the first uh, I'm going to clean I'm going to uh, clear the sink 
and I started uh, by washing uh, the kettle. I had soaked it overnight with some vinegar and is it some vinegar, some baking soda, sorry, some baking soda and some lime. I bought some lime because I had lime had more acidity and uh, it was much better than it was the previous night. So I'm going to continue uh, soaking it in lime so it can remove all the white um, salty scale that it has already built up and I hope uh, it Aisha very soon. So I'm going to wash the kettle and then uh, wash uh, some uh, kitchen towels I had soaked the previous night. And then after that, I'll wash uh, the utensils of camera and then wipe the cooker and the counters and then we'll be done uh, with uh, clearing uh, the sink. Then after I finished with the utensils, I did a little bit of uh, mopping the floors. So some of it I just did it offline and then uh, off camera, sorry. And then just here I was just finishing with the kitchen. Then I go uh, to the balcony and then uh, I was done with the cleaning of the day. So here I was just uh, wiping uh, the walls kidoko because after washing the shoes, uh, some uh, dirt um, went onto the walls. So I was wiping kidogo, then I moved the floor, then I get uh, to soak my mop uh, in jig for a while.
then this uh, was uh, in the evening and it was time for me to start uh, making uh, some dinner and here I was just marinating my chicken uh, which I had washed um, and then I was just I just put some a lemon uh, a little bit of paprika a little bit of graham masala and then black pepper and then some garlic and ginger and then with some yeah and then that's and some salt obviously and then i was going i marinated it for a little while and then and then now it's, i was going to get uh to cooking it and on this day on for dinner we were going to have the chicken uh some baked uh, potato wedges and then with some coleslaw on the side by the guys i really 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 love coleslaw sla salad i love it so much So my initial plan for this chicken was just uh, to deep fry it and then put some veggies on it because my family love it uh, when it has a little bit uh, of veggies on it like onion, some red and green peppers, something of those of that sort. But I thought it's going to be it's going to take too long to cook and then I just wanted it to be much more uh, to cook really well and become so soft so i decided uh the first thing i was going to put it inside uh the oven first uh, for it to cook inside visuri for a little while for like um 30 minutes then i get uh, to continue with what i wanted to do the it and then put some veggies and then that's all like veggies like stir fried something of that sort So now it was time for me to put uh, the uh, wedges uh, in the oven and I was just going to put a little bit of uh, spices on it. So I put a little bit of graham, black pepper, paprika, turmeric, uh, yeah, and then, oh, and then some salt. And then I added a little bit of honey in them so it can have a little bit of sweetness was it even sweet no it was just something different i was trying and then and it they came out so nice uh so delicious they were not sweet at all they were just uh balanced because of the spices the salt and all that uh the honey just balanced it out and it was not uh, overpowering spicy it was so nice oh and i added some uh mixed herb and uh, a little bit of no rosemary for the smell and for the nice um for the nice taste that our uh, rosemary brings out
so here i was just going to put uh some quick veggies on the uh on the chicken as i said uh, my family really really prefers it uh like this uh once in a while we can have the dry one straight from the oven and all that but um they really also love this one and it was it had been a while since i prepared something like this for them so i decided uh why not uh, incorporate some uh, veggies and like this uh, the baby girl gets to eat uh, a lot of veggies uh, also So guys we have come to the end of the video and if you have managed to watch this far thank you thank you so much uh, i really really appreciate it and kindly don't forget to share the video leave a comment on the comment section and also like the video if you haven't yet and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and this is your first time here bye